What? A Q1 review. Really? It's going to be pretty depressing. You really think people on LinkedIn want to see it? Okay. All right, let's do this. I'm Ian Pascoe, and you're watching the 2021 Q1 Review. Like most of the world, Thailand limped into 2021 with an economy severely hobbled by the COVID-19 pandemic. The economic contraction of 4.2% in the fourth quarter of 2020 wasn't as bad as many analysts had predicted. But some industries, travel, tourism in particular, continued to struggle in a big way. And just when we thought that Thailand had gotten off fairly easily, at least in terms of the health impacts of COVID-19, a second wave of infections hit the country like a Muay Thai kickboxing. We're all hoping that turning the calendar over to 2021 would magically make things better. But so far, it seems like a continuation of 2020. But with challenges comes opportunities. And as we'll see here, Q1 of 2021 had some bright spots too. January brought little relief for the beleaguered sectors of the Thai economy. Data from the Tourism Ministry shows that only 7,694 foreign tourists were present in Thailand that month. That's 99.8% less than the same time in 2020. Well-intentioned attempts to boost domestic tourism simply haven't come anywhere close to making up the difference. Amid the outbreak of COVID cases in Smut Sakon, the Finance Ministry reduced its national 2021 growth forecast from a healthy 4.5% down to a meagre 2.8%. But January wasn't all bad. 7,283 new businesses were registered nationwide, the highest total since January 2019. Export numbers rose as well, registering an increase of 0.35% above its total from a year earlier. And remember, that was before we knew how serious COVID-19 would be. Over in the United States, things got really crazy on January the 6th, when supporters of outgoing President Donald Trump stormed the Capitol building in a major low point in recent US history. Someone even stole AOC's shoes. Come on, mate, what's all that about? But Joe Biden was inaugurated on January the 20th, and many of us haven't thought much about US politics since. And that's progress of a kind, except for maybe the nighttime television. The Thai economy improved somewhat in February as infections subsided and restrictions were lifted. Consumer confidence improved for the first time in three months, buoyed by stimulus measures and the promise of vaccine distribution. Exports, on the other hand, didn't fare so well in February, shrinking by 2.59% year on year. Manufacturing was also sluggish, showing negative growth of 1.1% year on year. But we did see a boost in demand for certain types of food, home appliances, and items that provide COVID protection, like masks and rubber gloves. Meanwhile, in the online space, Clubhouse saw a massive spike in popularity here in Thailand, only a couple of months behind the early adopters elsewhere in the world. I even got in the Clubhouse hacked with some of my Grant Thornton colleagues. But just like the February weather in many countries, Clubhouse came in like a lion and went out like a lamb. The Clubhouse craze here in Thailand seems to have been replaced by the ongoing skateboard fad. This is an interesting one. Bangkok isn't exactly the most skateboardable city, but at least people are having fun out there. That brings us to March. Even though the weather started getting ridiculously hot, the economy wasn't exactly heating up along with it. The World Bank recently said it's expecting a slow return of tourism and downgraded its 2021 GDP growth projection for Thailand from 4% to 3.4%. A slow vaccine rollout isn't helping the situation. As of March 17, Thailand was the second slowest in Asia behind only Vietnam, with only 54,000 people vaccinated, or 0.08 vaccination per 100 people. But also in March, the government approved the latest economic relief package, which is valued at 350 billion baht. This should help support the businesses throughout the country. International trade has been in dire straits for some time now. And to make things worse, a massive container ship ran aground and blocked the Suez Canal on March the 23rd. This caused a traffic jam that would make Bangkok jealous. Fortunately, the ship was freed six days later. This should help trade start flowing again. Hopefully some good luck will also start flowing around the world. But as business leaders here in Thailand, you'll have to make your own luck. The decisions your business makes right now will have outsized effects when the economy really starts to get going, probably sometime around Q3. 
But whatever comes next, Grant Thornton, we're here to help.